Wow, that is just incredible. It takes your breath away a bit every time you see it. I, I'm not going to get used to it anytime soon. Woken up on day three of staying at my grandparents' farm in Bulio, and it looks like the weather is going to be drastically better than yesterday because I have to say it was quite dismal yesterday. It would just rain the entire day, and we weren't actually able to do any riding. It wasn't really feasible with how the day was turning out, so we just ended up going down to Barrel Mittagong and doing some exploring in the town down there. So we just drove down in the car. But hopefully today, if the weather does hold up, and it looks like it will it, with the radar and stuff, for hopefully the next two days, it's kind of teetering on the edge of raining and cloudy, but hopefully it stays all good. We're gonna jump on our adventure bikes and head down to Wombian Caves area, which I'm super excited to check out because apparently it is incredible down there. And if it, it, everything stays all right, hopefully we can keep going to check out some towns as well. But everything is looking all good. The bikes are all packed up, ready to go. And I'm super excited to get back on them just to build my confidence back. Alrighty, so we are just getting going. It looks a bit rainy in the distance, but it's not too bad. I do feel a bit like the Michelin man currently. I do have a lot of layers on and I'm struggling to move. So I am finding it a bit difficult, even with the thicker gloves to even pull in my brake and clutch, but I guess I'll get used to it, but it's definitely worth it to get a bit of that warmth in. Because I do remember last time, every time we seem to come to the farm, it seems to be winter. Last time I sat on the back of dad's bike and it was about a six degrees or something and it was raining like this and I've never been so cold in my entire life so I did learn from my mistakes and have worn a lot of layers this time around. There is a little bit of a a little bit of a water crossing up ahead and I do have to say I do get a bit anxious when I see these now. I can't say I'm not, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Oh, that, that was a bit better than the last time around. Every corner you're coming across, you just see this amazing view ahead. I'm at the front currently and dad is behind and mum's just at the back. So I have to be aware of some of the blind corners up here because people, if you do come across someone, they do tend to be flying and you don't really want to be meeting them the other way especially when you're the one on a bike but wow it's so cool yeah definitely it is it is a lot better to be able to ride because last time i did this road i was on the back of dad's bike and while it was a lot of fun i definitely prefer being able to ride and be be in control oh my goodness just look at that that is just incredible. From the looks of it, when we're a bit higher, this road does turn to dirt. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Oh, here it is, it spoke too soon. Mum's in the lead. She's she's a bit more speedy down these hills than I am, so I said you go for it, so I don't hold her up at all. Because the hard thing about before when I broke my leg is it, it kind of just came out of nowhere. Though that slippery track, it, I didn't expect it just to be as slippery as it was, but. It's definitely a learning thing. You, you got to learn one way or another. So <laughs> that's just the way it ended up. And luckily it was a pretty clean break. So I did get away from it pretty, pretty good, all things considering.
coming up to the river now and it is so beautiful down here might follow mum off to the side here wow it's really really gushing through today that is just so beautiful we are super lucky that so far the weather has held out and it hasn't been pouring with rain so this one this road we're on now is called Wombian Caves Road so I'm not sure how far that goes along for us but I'm enjoying every minute I have been for the past 13 weeks itching to get back on the bike so we are apparently now about 15 oh, 15 kilometers away from Wombian Caves so gosh the road is definitely washed out around these parts I hope the caves are actually open for us to have a look into because I know one time I have been here they were closed which was a little bit disappointing seeing you right all the way down here and you're like oh I can't even see the caves it's definitely a steep drop over the edge you, you wouldn't want to be falling down it We just come across a deer along this road. I feel a bit guilty chasing him. Oh. How beautiful. I give him a little bit of distance from him so I don't don't scare him too much. Yeah, it's a bit of a hard one for him. He's got really nowhere to go. Wow, well, how cool is that? This day just keeps getting better and better. There's so many good things. A very good first ride. Well, technically first adventure ride back. Oh, it's definitely slippery there. It's actually quite windy the higher you get. I've let Dad go in front just so he can keep an eye out on the blind corners better than I can. Check it up up there. That is so steep. We're just riding into Wombian Caves now. We've done about 34 kilometers so far. And I'm hoping they are open, but I'm not too sure. But just, oh, I love those trees when they're all changing colors. It's just my favorite. Looks a bit quiet around here so far. I would love to camp down here one day. Wow. I'm guessing this is where I head.
So we're just walking now to go check out the Bombian Caves, which I'm super excited for. So it's a little bit of a hike apparently to get up there and as per usual, <laughs> most of us have stayed fully geared up. So it might be a long squeaky walk ahead. We did it at the Cape and we did it at Rainbow Beach and now we're doing it here. We're hiking fully in our gear. Tell you what, it makes for pretty good exercise. I do have a lot of layers on. I haven't taken any off as of yet, as I thought I wouldn't be too bad. But we'll see how we go. So the park ranger said it wasn't that far a walk, but it looks, we've been going for quite a while and it looks really steep to get down. So we will see how we go in all our riding gear. But oh, I'm just absolutely loving it so far that just looking around, it's just so awesome. The rain has started though, unfortunately, but it's not pouring, it's just a little bit of drizzle. But I'll see how we go getting down here. Ooh. It's absolutely incredible in here. There's a lot of stairs going on though, so as I'm quite limited in my mobility with all my layers, I'm going quite slow, so I'm probably holding mum up behind me. But it is so cool. Wow. It is just amazing. So we're still going through the cave. It sounds like there's a bit of running water ahead of me here. Oh wow, it is just such an amazing thing to see. So we are just leaving Wombian Caves now. I'm so glad we actually went into one of the caves. It was absolutely spectacular. So now we are off again and headed to a town that has a lot of windmills apparently, but of course I have forgotten the name. I'm actually way too hot now with all my layers on after doing that hike, but I'm sure I'll get cold pretty quick. All right, here we go for another little river crossing. Not too bad. So apparently we're about 32 k's out of the town and we are heading for now. So still a bit of a ways to go and apparently we can do a loop back to the farm from there. So we don't have to backtrack, which is good. So we get to explore some more scenery. But I'm so glad we did the caves. That was, that was definitely worth the hike. It was super cool in there. I can officially say it is night time now. It's, got, it's pretty dark, I have to say. 